guys. Uh, just Brad today. No, no Anara with us today. Um, had just shot up to the shack to run a quick errand, and now we have no power, and it's a fire ban, so I can't get anything done. So, good opportunity to do a roadside twig water session on the way home. Uh, we're we'll fishing a few of the small little streams and maybe a lake or two between Myena and Strawn on the way home. Stay tuned. Right, it's not exactly a twiggy water, but uh, this is the Upper Ooze River uh, between Myena and Little Pine Lagoon. So, we'll point here for a quick look and see what we can see. As always, guys, you know, everywhere I stop, I've got to get at least one. Make sure we're leaving this place better than we found it. Make it too. That's only going to end up in the gutter anyway. In case you hadn't noticed. Go stay golden for Betty. Well, you saw the last video ended in disaster. Let's not make that happen again. Remember, just because the cars are going overhead does not mean that these things are sort of steel of nerve. This water, unlike everything on the west coast, is glass clear. So just because we can't see anything going on from up here doesn't mean they haven't already seen us. Just for access's sake, I'm going to start at the top. It's not a way I like to fish. I like to fish up into the stream, not down. But access on the other side is a bit of an issue, so we'll give that a go later. There we go. you can see that we've got all kinds of insects on the surface here. Literally everything here by the fish at the moment. Let's sneak down to this pool. Hopefully I can zoom in on him. I haven't seen one of these in ages. It's an alpine skink. Look at you go. Wow, nice and bulky. Looks like it's heavily pregnant. These things survive here all year, but they can put up with the winter temperatures like what you saw in our last video. We're only a stone's throw away from Little Pine. Uh, you do you, watch out for snakes. I'll have to review the footage and see how many we actually picked up. The ground here is absolutely teeming with these skinks. Which means that old mate tiger or copperhead or even whip snake is not that far around the corner. All of these bugs are a sign of such a happy, healthy environment. Wow. We've got a rich variety of insect life here to choose from. I don't know what you are, like a little stone fly or something. You can go, see ya. And then all led through here we've got mud eye shells. Hopefully I'm picking this up right. Let's just have a proper look. That there is a dragonfly larva or mud eye. And, um, they'll come ashore and dry out in the hot night and uh, then emerge into dragonflies and that's what we see flying around everywhere now. This here, slightly different. That's a stonefly larva. Um, as you can see with everything going on it's really hard to pick what they're actually eating. Um, trout in these little streams can be fussy as all heck. Let's stick out of zooming. Really hope the camera got that. Check 
about you. Crawling up my leg like you owned it. Alright. No wonder those lizards are looking well fed. There's animals everywhere here. Oh, see, here you got something that the rest of them are interested in. Wow. Jealous much? <laughs> well, there's a bit of everything going on down here. It's a really good sign that this river's very much alive and well. And we do our little part by picking up any of the rubbish that others have left behind. But my leader is just about toasted after that, so I'm going to try and stop by a tackle shop on the way to the next river and we'll see what we can see. See you soon. To the next one. series was to try and shine a light on all those rivers and streams that you drive past every time you're on the road. For me, Clarence River is one of them. I'm gonna need two things to be able to fish this stream. And the first one's a friggin' hat. Ah, huh, there's a rise there. All right, all right. Well, let's not get any closer and spook everything. I'm gonna need a hat. That day ball is burning a hole in my face. I have to say cheers to Shane at the Bronte shop for the nippers because I left my scissors and my knife at home. And also he said, try a Highland done. So we'll give those a go first. Take a moment to appreciate how many marsh flies are getting into the dam cup. Sorry Leah, you can camp out there. I'm so excited. Now, I saw one of these before, the camera didn't pick it up because I don't have a polarized lens yet, but it was jet black. So, I don't even know what kind of trout that was, but uh, hopefully we can get close enough to shake hands with one of them and I can let you know. Hopefully you can see this. If not, I'll <coughs> zoom in, but it does look like it's a brown. Right there on the shoreline. Alright, he's ducked down below so I can sneak. No, he's back out. Oh, look at that. They're all getting into it. Alright. Beautiful little brown. Look at that. Look at you. Yeah. You're a pretty little thing. It's iridescent. Look at those spots. And you have a dorsal as well. I've never seen that before. I don't think you're going to. Leaves with any problems whatsoever. It's just oh, look at that dorsal. What are red spots in there? Look at that. Unreal. Never seen that before. Be as gentle as we can. All right. Hooks out. All right. Hooks out. Go for a look. Oh, cool. I think that's enough for the Clarence. We've scratched that itch. 
Hey, it's very hot. I think it's time to go and get some lunch and then uh, crack on to getting home. Almost forgot to do a bit of good karma. You know what? Lunch up right now so you don't trip. It's going to be a trip home from the shack without a trip to Hungry Wombat. This beef works burgers will be the death of me. Stopping for lunch. This isn't exactly roadside twig water up here. It's Lake King William, but it is a nice place to stop. Well worth turning off for. There's a fish trap up here that half the year is worth a look at too. Not allowed to fish near it, but uh, it's always nice to see what's coming up through the river system. The trap is currently operational. But there's no poor little souls just stuck in here, cooking away. That's pretty quiet to me. As far as the spots to stop for my lunch break, I'm returning. It's pretty nice. Well, better the spot. Right in the center over there, I discovered something. Come home with us. We're at Coates Creek. I was going to stop at Little Nevere River, but uh, it's way too overgrown and dry. Let's see how we do here. I also don't know how eaten I'm going to get. All right, it doesn't look bad. All right, we did try the Coates, but um, it's a very spooky little crystal clear stream. Uh, spooked to tiny little browns. Um, so we're going to take our token and get on our way. Slow this one I'm walking down, so that'll do. You all know how we feel about broken glass. So let's get this one prematurely. That really hurt. Ow! Alright, well this we better just check the boots, make sure I'm not bringing any other nasties with us. Ouch! Um, I don't have any salt. I wonder if they're like iodine. These guys normally don't hurt when they bite you. Let's see. Get out of there, fly. Let's see if he likes iodine. We'll all learn together. Oh, he didn't hate it. No, that didn't do it. I guess he's just camping with us for the rest of the trip. Not a Brad and Nara adventure, I guess this one will just uh, have to be Brad and Leech adventure. Because he is stuck with me. Dude, I don't mind you having a feed, but like, can you not just like clamp down every five minutes? That really stings. Anyway, Codes Creek, picked up a hitchhiker. Moving on. So, purely for educational purposes, I decided to raid the first aid kit and see what we had. See if we can get rid of a leech without fire or salt. Alcohol cleansing pad seems like the best bet. So let's see if we can make this guy's life hell so we can stop making my leg itchy. Oh. Hey, it worked. Ha! There you go. Party ends here, hitchhiker. Nice. There you go guys, if you are without salt or lighters, alcohol will get it done. Sorry about the blood. That's not exactly a twig water, but let's have a look. I can already see two. Very hard to get to though. Let's go.
Let's figure out. What can we find here? Well, I was hoping for a bottle, but I guess that's a good sign. Seems like this is all very nice and clear. Let's see what we can see. Wow. Look at this place. We have to be looking at fish right now. I don't even know. Oh, got to get down there. That'll be the last stop of the day. Nelson Falls, Nelson River. Does it for Nelson Falls? Can't put thongs back on. Done. Got a straw from Nelson Falls too. I can go in there. Alrighty. You know, one of these days I'm going to do a roadside twig water where I don't bleed. Not today though. Judging by the flies, I'd say that it's dead. I did say we'd see one. How's that? Foot for scale. Not bad. Oh, I'll grab that one over here. Hello. This one's a good one. This one's a good one. So excited. Right. I'll just be a minute. That's just today's adventures. That's nine pieces of rubbish that I managed to pick up from less than nine places that I stopped, I think. Um, no, that doesn't seem like much, but I have nearly 200 subscribers. And if everybody pitched in and did what I did today, um, we'd nearly fill the tray of this ute. So just something to keep in mind, just every time you stop, if you pick something up, and just uh, leave a place slightly better than what you found it. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, catch you guys in the next video, I guess. Take care.